Hi viewers and uh, dear students, I am here today to explain Cambridge IGCSE ICT 2016 May June Paper 2-1 Presentation Part. In this part of the question paper, they say you are required to create a short presentation on the subject of spawn delivered by mail. This presentation will be used by Tawara Adventures in face-to-face -face staff training. So import the file 216pound.rtf placing the text as five slides in your presentation software. So we'll open here PowerPoint and we need to just open the file, file then click on open then browse then desktop to your folder the files and G21 spam. Click on open so you can see five slides in your presentation. Now next step is the presentation should be based on a master site that you will design and your slide must have a consistent layout and formatting with the following features included on all slides. So company logo which is stored as G216 logo. So we need the logo first of all. So view master slide, get back to the first slide and then click on insert a picture. And we'll go to desktop and logo. Picture inserted. I'm going to move this one towards the right just like that. And next is your name, center number, candidate number. So I'm just going to type my name, candidate number, and center number. That's my number. And then after candidate number, and then they have mentioned here slide number as well. Slide number is already here. We'll click on insert and header and footer now and we'll click on these two options to display otherwise they will not be displayed apply to all the slides now next step is slide 4 with title how to recognize spam mail is incomplete identify two ways of recognizing spam mail by email enter your answer as a separate bulleted on slide 4 so we'll get back to the normal now slide 4 here we need to type our answer here yeah how to recognize the spam mail so you can say here incorrect yeah incorrect uh, uh, grammar yeah or you can say spelling and then so we'll just type our answer here uh, incorrect um, grammar and spelling and then after you can also mention here like for example sometime the plain text or absence of logo so you can say that absence of logo and then also request for personal information and uh, suspe suspicious uh, attachment and then urgent too good to be true and then after links within within the body of the message and generic greeting that's all and then after next step is slide 5 with the title uh, methods to prevent you need to type the methods of prevention now slide 5 how to prevent yourself so use of spam or junk mail 
filters and uh, block spam and then use of spam uh, junk yeah junk email folder and not signing up to offers on the internet then use features yeah use uh, features in email package and then after save senders list never reply or you can just say ignore or delete ignore delete uh, the message and then do not click links that's all and then you need to evaluate the feature of your presentation that meet uh, the need of your audience so need to type the evaluation which will need to the meet of the requirement of your audience so here we can say that uh, appropriate slide layout uh, then consistent consistent uh, layout or you can say uh, master slide so all the side look like the same then a pro create formatting uh, layout applied and also not too many words per slide or you can say bullet that's all and next step is to spell check and prove read the presentation so for this one spell check and prove read your presentation so we just click on uh, everything to just check if there is anything recognized say you just we just change this one or we just uh, leave it even like this so yeah and then uh, we just ignore this one that's all click on ok and then after what we need to do is print the slides with two slides per page so we'll click on file then print and then full slide two slides per page and then you just print them so once you print this all uh, one thing just I want to cross check here if I have used accurately everything slide number contact details yes it is and then after you just need to print and then you print your evidence document so that's all from the presentation part of this question paper hope you have learned this so thanks for watching and uh, subscribe the channel for more videos and update we'll see you in next video